Hey everyone, welcome back to our Tosca automation playlist and we are talking about Tosca best practices. Now prior to this, I have already shown you two best practices and this is the third in the series. Now if you want to watch our previous videos or if you want to watch our next videos, I would like you to subscribe to our channel first. So talking about the best practice number three and it is about module attribute usage. Now we have seen what is a module and what are the different module attributes related to that particular module in Tosca. And you create a module by scanning your application, right? So as per this best practice, you should limit your module attributes and categorize them based on the module functionality. Now, what do you mean by this? Is you should not add all the module attributes into a single module you should divide your module attributes as per the module functionality so create different folders create different modules uh, based on the functionality of the application you are trying to scan so let's try to understand this with the help of an example so I'll go back to my Tosca and here I have put together two examples. Okay, both are uh, for the same screen. Okay, so we are trying to scan this enter vehicle data, and there are several fields as you can see, right? And some of them are mandatory fields, some of them are optional fields, and there are some headers, some footers uh, on this particular page. Okay, and I have scanned uh, this particular page to create my module. Now I have done it in two ways. Okay, so in the first way, I have categorized my module attributes, which are the fields in the application, in different modules. So you can see there is a headers uh, module and there is an enter vehicle data module, which contains the fields uh, in that particular page. And then there is also a headers module, which contains the automobile link, which is what I'm trying to scan. Okay, and these are all the fields for the automobile screen. Now, on the right hand side, I have created the same module, but in a different way. Now, what I have done is I have scanned that page and I have added all my controls together in this single module. Now, you may think that if you go ahead and scan all the elements on your page, so you may not require to go back and scan that application or that page again. So you can reuse this module for all test cases, but that is not an efficient way of doing it. And there are specific reasons for this. So if you go ahead and create modules like this, where you scan all the controls of your application and put together in just a single module, firstly, your performance will be impacted. Also, in the long run, your workspace size will also increase. Okay, because even if you're not using the controls, you are still scanning all the controls and keeping it in the modules okay rather than this what Tricentis suggests is create the modules but only use the module attributes which you are going to use it in your test case now if you want to use more controls than this okay so some other test case requires some other controls which you have not scanned um, first time so you can always go back and rescan that particular window and add your additional controls but you should not go ahead and put all the controls or scan all the controls in just one module okay also you should categorize your modules and the reason is pretty simple once you categorize you create a structure in your modules and when you drag this into your test cases the same structure is maintained so there is a test case flow with all the different test steps which are nothing but your modules right now if i have got just one module and i'm trying to use that module in every test step then maybe uh, you have to rename all the test steps and also while executing tosca has to go through all the module all the module attributes in order to find that particular module attribute which may not be efficient right so think like this if uh, i just need to click on the automobile link 
I just need to pass this module which has got just one module attribute. But if uh, I have to do the same thing in this example, then there are so many module attributes out of this. Tosca has to click on the automobile link, right? So it affects the performance of your automation and also it slows down your execution. Also, um, it uh, impacts your workspace size. So there are lots of disadvantages as you can see. And also, you can also make out which looks better, right? The structured way is much better than the non-structured way, right? So Trasentis always recommends this, that uh, use your modules uh, in different categories, okay? Categorize your module attributes and also uh, make it more efficient. Don't add all the module attributes together, right? So that's all uh, for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. If you want to continue uh, learning about best practices, keep watching for uh, the upcoming videos. So until the next video, keep learning and keep watching our videos.